Verbal learning is a cognitive process that involves the acquisition and retention of information through language. This intricate process encompasses various techniques including paired associates learning, serial learning, and free recall. Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Let's explore these aspects of verbal learning and address this fascinating cognitive phenomena. Verbal learning is different from conditioning and is limited to human beings. Human beings, as you must have observed, acquire knowledge about facts, events, and their features largely in terms of words. Words then come to be associated with one another. Psychologists have developed a number of methods to study this kind of learning in a laboratory setting. Each method is used to investigate specific questions about learning of some kind of verbal material. Paired Associates Learning Paired associates learning involves the association of two items or concepts where one serves as a cue for the other. For example, remembering apple when prompted with fruit. This technique capitalizes on the power of association, leveraging the brain's ability to link related information. Effective paired associates learning strengthens connections between words and ideas, facilitating recall when one element triggers the memory of its paired counterpart. Serial learning Serial learning focuses on the sequential order of information. Think of learning a list of items in a specific order and being able to recall them in that same sequence later. This process relies on the brain's capacity to organize and store information in a structured manner. Serial learning is commonly used in tasks like memorizing phone numbers or remembering a set of instructions step by step such as in a recipe. Free recall. Free recall involves retrieving information without specific cues or prompts. It's akin to an open-ended memory test where individuals are asked to remember items or concepts from memory alone. This form of verbal learning challenges the brain to retrieve information without external hints, showcasing the depth and strength of one's memory associations. Determinants of verbal learning. Several factors influence verbal learning, shaping the efficiency and effectiveness of the process. Number one, repetition. The more frequently information is encountered, the more likely it is to be retained. Repetition helps solidify neural pathways, making it easier to recall information. Number two, motivation. Personal interest and motivation play a significant role in verbal learning. Individuals are more likely to remember information that holds personal relevance or significance to them. Number three, mnemonics. Memory aids such as acronyms and rhymes can enhance verbal learning by providing additional cues or associations. Number four, attention and focus. Concentration on the material at hand is crucial for effective verbal learning. Distractions can hinder the encoding process, making it more challenging to recall information later. Verbal learning has been subjected to the most extensive experimental investigations. These studies have indicated that the course of verbal learning is influenced by a number of factors. The most important determinants are the different features of the verbal material to be learned. They include the length of the list to be learned and meaningfulness of the material. Meaningfulness of material is measured in several ways. The number of associations elicited in a fixed time, familiarity of the material and frequency of usage, relations among the words in the list, and the sequential dependence of each word on the list on the preceding words are used for assessing meaningfulness. Lists of nonsense syllables are available with different levels of associations. The nonsense syllables should be selected from a list containing the same association value. On the basis of research findings, the following generalizations have been made. Learning time increases with the increase in length of the list, occurrence of words with low association values, or lack of relations among the items in the list. The more time it takes to learn the list, the stronger the learning will be. In this respect, psychologists have found that the total time principle operates. This principle states that fixed amount of time is necessary to learn a fixed amount of material, regardless of the number of trials into which that item is divided. The more time it takes to learn, the stronger the learning becomes. If participants are not restricted to the serial learning method and are allowed to give free recall, verbal learning becomes organizational. This implies that in free recall, participants recall the words not in the order of presentation, but in a new order or sequence. Gaussfield first demonstrated this experimentally. He made a list of 60 words that consisted of 15 words drawn from each of the four semantic categories, which are names, animals, professions, and vegetables. These words were presented to participants one by one in a random order. 
the participants were required to make free recall of the words. However, they recalled the words of each category together. He called it category clustering. It is worth noting that though the words were presented randomly, the participants organized them category wise in recall. Here, category clustering occurred because of the nature of the list. It has also been demonstrated that free recall is always organized subjectively. Subjective organization shows that the participants organize words or items in their individual ways and recall accordingly. Verbal learning is usually intentional, but a person may learn some features of the words unintentionally or incidentally. In this kind of learning, participants notice features such as whether two or more words rhyme, start with identical letters, or have the same vowels. Thus, verbal learning is both intentional as well as incidental. Verbal learning is a skill that can be honed through practice and effective study strategies. Techniques like active engagement, visualization, and spaced repetition can enhance verbal learning capabilities. While cognitive abilities may change with age, individuals of all ages can improve their verbal learning skills through strategic learning approaches and a commitment to lifelong learning. Practicing free recall regularly, employing mnemonic devices, and creating meaningful associations with the information can improve your free recall abilities. Individual differences such as cognitive aptitude, motivation, and learning styles contribute to variations in verbal learning abilities among people. Understanding the nuances of verbal learning from paired associates and serial learning to free recall provides valuable insights into how our brains process and retain information. By applying effective learning strategies and considering the determinants of verbal learning, individuals can optimize their ability to acquire and remember verbal information. So that's it for this video. If you are looking for quality mental health resources, please visit my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.